taking a look at the skeletal muscle cell, we can see that they're peeling back the sarcolemma and showing us that the cell is filled with these fibrous subcellular structures called myofibrils. So we can see that myofibrils fill the skeletal muscle cell. What we can't see from this picture is that each myofibril is surrounded by an organelle called the sarcoplasmic reticulum. That's what they're showing us over here. So in this picture, each one of these orange cylinders is a myofibril. And notice how there's this blue sleeve that surrounds it. That's the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The sarcoplasmic reticulum is a variation of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It surrounds each myofibril and it stores calcium. And so while the skeletal muscle cell is at rest, the job of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, or the SR, is to use active transport to trap all of the calcium inside of the SR. Next, let's take a look at another structure that's associated with the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So again, we can see the sarcolemma, the plasma membrane outside of the cell, and notice that there are these invaginations of the sarcolemma. It forms a tube or a tunnel. So in other words, do you see how outside of the cell we know that the extracellular fluid fills this area and this tube would be filled with the extracellular fluid. So this tube or tunnel is known as a T-tubule or transverse tubule. Uh, what they do is they run into the skeletal muscle cell periodically in a transverse plane. So we can see the myofibrils are running in uh, a horizontal direction on this diagram. And then notice how the T-tubules run perpendicular to that, or they're running at a transverse plane into the cell. T-tubules, like the SR, surround every single myofibril. So we can see the T-tubule coming in, and I can see the T-tubule surrounds a myofibril, and it actually surrounds every myofibril. I can also see that the T-tubule is right next to the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So let's take a look at the structure of where the T-tubule and the SR uh, touch, and then let's take a look at what that means functionally. So taking a look at the structure first, I can see that the T-tubule is going to come in contact with the SR on either side of the T-tubule. And this region where the sarcoplasmic reticulum surrounds the T-tubule is known as a triad region because it contains three areas. It contains the area where the SR is ending. That's called a terminal cisterna. And then we can see the T-tubule. And then we see the terminal cisterna of the SR on the other side of that. And this is what is known as a triad, okay? The terminal cisterna of the SR on either side of the T-tubule. Let's take a look at what this means functionally for the cell. When a skeletal muscle cell is stimulated to contract, what happens is the nervous system delivers the message to the sarcolemma, something that we'll look at in another video, and it causes an electrical change uh, to occur on the sarcolemma. And this electrical change sweeps down the sarcolemma, and when it comes to the point of a T-tubule, what will happen is that electrical change will fall into this T-tubule system and it will also move forward because the membrane is a good conductor of electricity. And so just like dropping a match on a fire line, so to speak, what will happen is this electrical um, change on the sarcolemma is going to be conveyed across the cell and into the T-tubules as it passes the T-tubules. When this electrical change sweeps through the T-tubules, it's going to cause the sarcoplasmic reticulum to release calcium. So we know that at rest, the sarcoplasmic reticulum is storing calcium. It's using active transport to do that. But when an electrical message is conveyed into the skeletal muscle cell through the T-tubule system, this is the trigger for the SR to release calcium into the cell. That is what's going to initiate contraction. So in summary, the T-tubules, together with the sarcoplasmic reticulum, is providing a means through which the message, the electrical message for the cell to contract, is being distributed to each myofibril within the cell.